Okay, we'll start back here in the bathroom. I lost you. Didn't notice I had lost you until about five minutes ago. Or five minutes after uh, that bit other video ended. Uh, dear. Okay, so, uh, yeah, toilet. Uh, replace the toilet. Um, don't be out here. Flange was shot underneath, so it was leaking out the flange. The toilet was also leaking between the tank and the toilet itself. So a lot of water was running down there. Um, pulled the toilet off. The flange was destroyed, you know, just disintegrated, basically. Um, underneath, I'll show you when we get down there. And there there's going to be pictures that go along with, with all this stuff that I'll get you. Um, but the underneath, the subflooring was pretty damaged. So I cut out a nice chunk of that, put some fresh plywood underneath it. Uh, construction adhesive and some other supports to, to get it up there um, and that ended up having to cut the pipe underneath the floor to get a new flange on it. I couldn't just put a another extension flange over the piping that was there because then the flange was sitting too high for the toilet. Um, new baseboard down and around the toilet. Mm. Um, we uh, sanded this floor a little bit because there was a lot of the finish on these hardwoods was was gone. So we did a light sanding, three coats of poly on this stuff too, out, out in, to almost the tub to cover the wear spot in front of the toilet. Um, new vent cover that had gotten just rusted from moisture. Um, Took the P-trap off of this, made sure it was clean. Um, what else we got going here? Just odd, odd stuff. Just uh, that is the toilet paper holder. Looks like somebody held a lighter to it. Um, let's see here. Anything else on this toilet? The floor, the new flange, uh, new base, new. Uh, trim um touch-ups around the window um, this window was pretty pretty beat up just a lot of moisture in here um this guy we're gonna the one that was here actually i put up stairs and this needs a um, maybe new shower head the old one what they did on these shower heads is they took both up here and down there inside the shower heads there's gaskets with screens and they took those out of the shower heads to use for something else. Um, so we'll get that reestablished. Um, the fan. Uh, ended up keeping the fans. Um, once I got into them, kind of taking them apart, they must have got put in before sheetrock. Because once you get it all kind of taken apart, the housing that's in there, there's really no way to take that housing out without cutting out around sheetrock around it. So I did some investigating, thinking maybe parts or something like that. And uh, in, in, while all that going on, kind of noticed plugging in the fan with out of the housing was that it wasn't the bearings that were going. It was the fan rubbing on a shroud that was in there from centrifugal force, kind of pulled it into the shroud and it was rubbing on it. Um, so readjusted that guy, cleaned it all up. Um, the outside was kind of yellowed and stuff. So we repainted that with some spray paint and she works good now. Both of them, they, both, they, they work nice. Um, it's slightly loud, not as quiet maybe as you might want it, but, um, I think it's got life left in it. Um, on these guys here and uh, upstairs, cleaned them up. You know, they're they're older. They don't look awful though, as bad as originally suspected. Um, Karen was thinking maybe just new uh, globes on them. I have the old ones. Well, we can put them back on, and probably will today, just to have that done. Um, and if you wanted to do, you know, new globes on those, there's three here and then two upstairs. Um, we could do that. Uh, and those are two and a quarter inch, um, I forgot what they call that, but across the 
top here. They're two and a quarter. Um, in here, this stain was, I think it was here originally, but there it is. It won't come out. Uh, this door frame trim, uh, there'll be pictures of it. You'll see it. It was, I guess from the slamming this door so much, it just loosened up all the, the, uh, all these were opened back up. All these cracks all around this trim was just paint chipping off of it. And same thing out here. Stuff had kind of just pulled loose. Like I said, I think just from that door getting getting slammed so much. Um, out here, uh, we got those globes. We're going to clean them in the closet. So we'll get them back on before we get out of here. Uh out here, this was probably, you know, this area, the less, least damaged of anything. Still dirty, but not as bad. You know, there was no furniture around any time we were here. So, I, you know, it was almost like the kids were playing on the walls and stuff, you know. Uh, the uh, curtain rods were... Some of them tore it kind of off the walls from yoinking curtains down or whatever the case might have been. Um, we fixed and replaced some of them, uh, thinking better to have them up ahead of time um, for this next run. Um, and now we know they're there and somebody can just put their own round curtain on it. Um, same thing there. Um, on this window, actually, the ones that were there were in good shape, so we left them. Uh, that door is the cellar door. It was just off. We took it off for ins and outs. Um, that window is another window that the um, spring has gone on. So, um, blinds, cleaned all the blinds. Um, where else are we here? Um... All right, so we'll head uh, upstairs now. Um, third step, that was the split one. Um, got that, so I'll show you where I went through the, uh, the underside and uh, braced that up with three-quarter plywood and two-by-fours and construction adhesive, so that's nice and solid. <coughs> um, a few nicks and gouges, same thing. You know, everything just a little bit beat up. Um, the uh, spindles, the rail and spindles, um, took a lot of scrubbing. There's what uh, makeups or something red on a lot of stuff that was the toughest of thing to get off stuff. Um, ended up replacing three spindles. Um, right off the bat, I'm mean, I can't even tell which ones they are. Um, Two were broken. One had the red, whatever it was on it, that I couldn't get quite scrubbed off. Um, this rail was very tore up. Like I said, it had a lot of that red on it and then some other dark black colored something. But uh, put some elbow grease into this guy, that's for sure. Um, it looks good. Came out nice. And we just touched it up lightly with with paint i didn't want to get into a whole coat around this thing uh but i think we got her looking pretty good um we got these globes we'll get these globes back on before we get out of here uh, this room here uh the bifold door the bottom of that bifold door the pin was broke out of it um, so we, uh, replaced the bottom in that door, drilled a new hole, bought a, a kit to, for the new pin and fixed that. Um, the carpet in here had some small burns, um, some stains. There was a stain over here. You can still see it lightly, uh, but we, we got it to where it was, um, 
in pretty good shape. Like I say, just to, to keep going and going and going with it, uh, we decided at some point we had to draw a line. Um, the same thing in here, just kind of touch ups in here, uh, filling some nail holes. Uh, that wall had dressers or something laying against it, maybe, but it was um, a lot of markings on that wall. Uh, over here, there was some small burns. One of them, you can still see the coloration there. Um, and these ones, I did some trimming on just to get the hard off of it. Um, little holes there, but it's it's soft now. So walking on it with bare feet, you're not going to be stepping on sharp, burnt carpeting. So I thought that was our, kind of our, our best bet. And then we uh, we went over it with our um, carpet cleaner. The handles on these originally were just kind of on these doors. I put this big fender washer around them just to stabilize them up a little bit. Or they were going to start kind of pulling through. here again carpet uh, I actually cut out a piece of carpet right down this hallway came out pretty good actually um, there's a couple different ways you can do it there's a we used um, a, a um, carpet un underlying tape it's sticky on one side. You peel the, the, the um, paper off it, get it under your hole, then put your patch in and you, you roll it um, and, it's, and it sticks together. Um, I watched a few different videos on a couple different things. You know, that's you know, the way that it, they sell all the stuff to do with that. The other way is there is a machine that puts like a heated steam on it. Um, with a different kind of tape and that obviously is a better way longer lasting uh, very very durable from what I saw but uh, again you have to have that tool to do it so we went with this route um, we'll see how it lasts um, it is I can see it I think yeah I can see it I'm not sure if you can or not it's pretty light it looks good actually I'm right over top of it now You'll see in the pictures where I cut it out. Um, there were a few different little burn marks over here that I was able to scissor out. Uh, and again, we went through all this with the carpet cleaner. Uh, same thing, walls kind of patched up. Um, we'll kind of stay right here with the carpet. Um, there was a huge blue stain right there i still uh, some came back we've been working on it it would it seemed like it was gone and then it would kind of come back uh, but there's a big spot here there's one little guy right there um several different burn spots around here that i was able to smaller ones that were able to get cut out there's probably six or seven burn spots and or uh, whether it was some sort of a makeup, it seemed kind of like uh, nail polish. It was kind of pink with glitter in it. Uh, a few spots of that. This windowsill was burnt right here. It actually was burnt enough that there was a divot in it. So we patched that and painted. Um, this whole room, two coats of paint on. Um, it had some damage... A lot of damage, a lot of nail holes. Um, oh, also uh, in that end wall, beside the window, that's where there was another fist hole right there. So that whole end wall got uh, two coats of paint on it as well. It had the fist hole in it, and then on the other side of the window had some uh, heavier scr scrapes or whatever in it. So we did that whole, that wall, two coats. Um, we were able to match up. A lot of the paint was downstairs, which was pretty lucky. Um, 
and it had the store it was made at, uh, Purcell's Paints, which is close by here. So went over and matched the downstairs color because there's only a little of that downstairs. And they, they match this up, and that looks looks good uh, as far as matching everything downstairs. And a lot of the other colors, there was quite a bit for, for patching up. So, so that worked out fairly good. And we do have now downstairs all the formulas and colors that match here. Um, this guy here, here was where the biggest burn hole was. Uh, there's a couple small ones that went along with it there that I was able to scissor out again. There's some small holes and divots where I had to trim out that uh, the burn there. There's some more there at the end of my foot. Uh, there was another spot over here that was that uh, the makeup. Um, this guy here, they had painted it something odd color so we took it out kind of repainted it and this vent drops down into the basement and at the elbow and when you shine the light there's we got pictures of that but uh it was packed full of you know whatever toys paper all kinds of stuff there was a mcdonald's uh french fry uh box down in there uh so you know just just crazy and that that we had to uh um, in the basement, where it drops in the basement, is under the finished part of the basement. So we had to take the vent apart from outside that, and then it was like three, four feet in there, and we had to kind of suck everything out with vacuums and stuff like that. Uh, there was a water bottle in there. Crazy. Um, this, um, this closet, this light in here, wasn't working. Um, it, it had power going to it, power going to that. It was something in the light fixture itself. Maybe a wire snapped off or broke or shorted out or whatever. So this was a just a $25 light that I grabbed and we tossed that in. Those are the globes for this upstairs vanity. And like I say, the vanity is in decent shape. And these, these are in decent shape. They maybe look a little dated. Um, like I say, if you wanted to do Something different, we'll do it, but we, we'll put these back on for now. Um, this closet was in, in decent shape. Um, this guy here, we had talked about some different stuff. I cleaned it up, uh, and actually, while I was cleaning it, I found a button to put the fan in reverse. So now it's pulling air up, so it's not as... When it was blowing down on you, it just, um, so now it's pulling air up. Um, it's working. I actually found a remote for it, bought new batteries for it, but couldn't quite figure it out. I was hoping I could get it to shut the fan off, and then we just take the remote away. But haven't as yet been able to figure it out. I'll have my brother look at it today. <coughs> um... This bathroom, uh, yeah. Again, I don't want to re keep reiterating how dirty it was, but this door, weirdly enough, on the outside of this door and then on this wall, whatever, somebody was in here and somebody else wanted to get in. Uh, this guy here, um, those stains couldn't get out. We'll have to relook at the pictures from before, whether that one was there or not, I, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, again, this vanity light cleaned up pretty good. Um, so I think you can get another run out of it. Um, same thing with this fan that we did downstairs. Um, new bar here. This bar was gone. Don't know where that ended up. So I had to buy a new set and just kind of robbed the bar out of it because it didn't match these exactly but got the bar um had to redo these and the toilet they were pulled out um there's the shower i'm um, just caulking touch up painting in here um we put these on the doors um you know i kind of like the hinge stops versus the 
um, baseboard stops because they end up getting stepped on a lot of times and, and then they're useless anyway. Um, so I kind of like those, but what you get with them is you get that spring to them when they get slammed hard and stuff. And a lot of these had little dings in the wall where the knob was hitting it. So I grabbed those and stuck them on. Um, mm -mm -mm, P trap under the sink cleaned. Uh, Mark came and cleaned that toilet out. And that was disgusting. Um, There was some mail in the mailbox. Um, not sure what we want to do with this. Um, there is a... She must work for a medical staffing. Um, that could be information you might like. Uh, some from the school, some from Aqua. Uh, that looks like a bill of some sort, and then that's something from a law office. Um, here, um, I don't know if I took you under here or not. Yeah, I think I did in the beginning. Yes, yes. Okay, so we, we went through here. We got out here. Um, clean these stairs up. Uh, waiting on the carpet treads I like to use. Um, I had to order them. They don't carry them in stock anymore. Um, these stairs are they're so narrow without a nose. Uh, I took a ride down them last week. Um, this floor mopped up nice. There's a little orange spot there where the original paint maybe wore through. Um, This room cleaned up pretty easily. Like I said, the floor was filthy, but we put a good mop on that. Uh, oh, where I did this stair, walked right by it. Oh, I cut in and where did I cut in? Well, you can see a little there. Yeah, yeah. The uh, ceiling color is slightly off, but went in through there and. Uh, I got pictures of kind of what I did in there with the supply wooden construction pieces. Um, out here, uh, just took out some garbage. Upstairs, there was that big TV that was there. I got a load of garbage on my truck right now. I'm getting ready to get rid of uh, the TV, the TV stand, assorted stuff. There was some stuff down here that we cleaned out. Uh, there's our paints. For here, this other stuff is getting out of here today. I'm cleaning out. Um, attached the utility sink. That came out nice. New drain for the washer. Ran the washer and the dryer yesterday. Washed my rags and towels from out here. Seemed to work nice. Uh, this tin kind of gets shoved all around. So what I did is I stuck a few tap cons in this guy just to hold it in place so it's not sliding all around. Um, toilet is here. And that's the new subflooring I put in there. And like I said, we had to cut, I cut this guy back here and put the new flange in. So it sat at the right level. Um, just kind of cleaned up over here. There's the storm door. Got that there. Um, a lot of 
cable wiring and stuff. I didn't get into taking that out. I left it in throughout the house. I don't know if it gets used or can get used. Um, but I figured I'd leave it in case it does work. And through this area, we didn't do, didn't have to do much of anything. Just, uh, like I said, this stuff we did here. Um, looks good down here. Um, and that's about it for here. I'll send you this. I'll send you the video or the pictures and, uh, we'll go from there. All right, Peter, we'll talk. Bye.